In this question, the principal explains to us that sovereign function is an immunity which is provided to the state subject to this sovereign immunity. The state is liable for its tortious acts committed by its officers in the course of their employment. Now, the facts in the present question are the state government erected a reservoir for collecting drinking water for a village. As per the plan, the channel was to be prepared for the overflow of the reservoir which was not made on time. In the meantime, there was a heavy rainfall due to which the reservoir bursted, causing loss to the crops of villagers. In an action by villagers, the state claimed the defense of sovereign immunity. Now, in this question, out of the four options, the correct answer is B. That is, the villagers shall succeed in their action for damages. The reason for this being is, the reason why B is the right answer is because the explanation clearly states that sovereign function is such a function which has been performed in the essential character of the state and which could not have been discharged except by any department or authority of the state. Secondly, the construction of the reservoir is something that can also be done by a private body or agency. Now, the explanation clearly states that sovereign function is such a function which has been performed in the essential character of the state. What we can say from the present state of facts is that making a reservoir or constructing a reservoir does not in any way constitute the essential character of uh, the state. Therefore, the act of state in constructing the reservoir is a welfare act which is undertaken by the state through its machinery and the state itself failed miserably because it failed to make it in a safe manner. How hence the state cannot avail any defense whatsoever in the action brought by the villagers due to their sufferings, making be the right answer.